It is clear to me that what my good friend turned bandit, the one is planning there, is purely to get a group of men round the oil terminal and then to shake the managers of the oil companies by the scuff of the neck and demand money. That's all. At 13, his father sent him to the United Kingdom to continue his education, first at Ipsum College and later at Lincoln College, Oxford University, where he earned a master's degree in history. He returned to colonial Nigeria in 1956. Ujuku joined the civil service in eastern Nigeria as an administrative officer in present-day Enugu State. In 1957, after two years of working with the colonial civil service and seeking to break away from his father's influence over his civil service career, he left and joined the military, initially enlisting as a non-commissioned officer NCO in Zaria. Ujuku's decision to enlist as an NCO was forced by his father's pulling of political strings with the then Governor General of Nigeria, John McPherson, to prevent Emeka from getting an officer cadetship. Sir Louis and Governor General McPherson believed Emeka would not stick to the grueling NCO schedule. However, Emeka persevered. After an incident in which Ujuku corrected a drill surgeon's mispronunciation of the safety catch of the Lee Enfield 303 rifle, the British depot commander recommended Emeka for an officer's commission. If you watched this video to the end, please comment below with the hashtag History Hero or History Heroine. I promise to celebrate you there. Also, don't forget to like this video, share and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.